Our next speaker is Gennady Stoliarov. He is the second chairman in the history of the U.S. Transhumanist Party and the chief executive of the Nevada Transhumanist Party. He is an actuary, philosopher, science fiction novelist, amateur mathematician, composer, and the editor-in-chief of the Rational Argumenter. Today, he will be giving us an update on the U.S. Transhumanist Party 2020. Please welcome Gennady Stolyarov. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gennady Stolyarov II. I'm the chairman of the United States Transhumanist Party, and I'm pleased to update you today regarding the U.S. Transhumanist Party's activities in the year 2020. It's astonishing in retrospect to think that we as an organization are almost six years old. We were founded on October 7th, 2014, and since that time, we have been advocating for radical life extension and for putting science, health, and technology at the forefront of American politics. Our major effort in 2020 is the Cam Parish 2020 US presidential ticket. And for those of you who have attended prior rad fests, Charlie Cam and Liz Parrish are familiar figures to you. They are indeed my favorite presidential ticket because what other presidential ticket has two such dedicated life extension advocates? Charlie Cam, of course, is the sponsor and organizer of the pivotal 2007 Transvision Conference that brought together such luminaries as Ray Kurzweil, Aubrey de Grey, and William Shatner, and really catalyzed a lot of the subsequent collaborations and developments in our movement. He is a filmmaker, he is a composer, he is famous for his music video, I Am the Very Model of a Singularitarian. He has another great music video called Radical Life Extension. You could find those two videos and many others online for free. He is entertaining, he is is witty and he packs a lot of information into his videos in an accessible manner. He's also a CEO of a software company that creates interactive, lifelike digital avatars of humans. Liz Parrish is one of the most eloquent life extension advocates in the world. She speaks regularly about the potential for gene therapies to cure many debilitating diseases and in the future reverse the damage of biological aging. She is the CEO of BioViva and she was famous in 2015 for being patient zero for the first combination gene therapy to treat biological aging. She is also the advocacy advisor to the US Transhumanist Party and a founding member of the International Longevity Alliance. And you will hear her at RADFest this year as well. So please go to transhumanist-party.org and find out more about our candidates. We have many great interviews that they participated in, great media coverage for our candidates. And also we have a detailed platform that has just as much substance as the Republican and Democratic platforms. This platform was voted on by our members over the course of four years. And indeed, we believe our policy proposals are far superior to those that the Republicans and Democrats have to offer. So this election, how can you help Charlie Cam in his presidential race? Well, in the vast majority of states, you can write him in. Unfortunately, the duopoly in American politics has set up formidable barriers to any genuine alternatives. And one of those barriers is an extremely high number of petition signatures, ranging from the thousands to the hundreds of thousands in many states. And of course, during this pandemic, I, as chairman of the U.S. Transhumanist Party, could not in good conscience ask our volunteers to go out and physically collect petition signatures at the risk to their health. We are about promoting life extension after all. So instead, we are embarking upon a write-in campaign. And make note of this map, because the color coding on this map will show you where you can write in Charlie Cam and what are some of the conditions that that is subject to. Most importantly, if you write in Charlie Cam, please let us know via email at ustranshumanistparty at protonmail.com because we are going to keep an internal running tally. Some of these states may publish results of write-in votes, but they're not guaranteed to. And we know many of these states will not publish the results of write-in votes, even if they accept write-in candidates. So in the states that are color-coded orange, they're generally going to accept the write-in votes. In the states that are color-coded yellow, 
uh, or gold, you will be able to write in the candidates, but the state is not likely to publish the totals. Nonetheless, we will publish the totals. Also pay attention to whether your state allows you to take pictures of your marked ballots. If it does, that's great. We would like to see your marked ballots if you choose to disclose them, of course. If not, just send us an email saying you voted for Charlie Cam and Liz Parrish, and we will publish combined anonymized totals, but we hope that we can help your vote to count in this way. Now, there are many good reasons to vote transhumanist in 2020, and we are a pragmatic political party. We recognize we're not going to win this election. The grip of the two-party political system is unfortunately too strong in the United States. But also keep in mind, your one vote will not decide the outcome of this presidential election, even in battleground states. The probability of that is virtually zero. But what your vote can do very effectively is send a message that the status quo in American politics is broken and a dramatic refocusing is needed. We can do better than this duopoly. Let us enable the political establishment to hear our message that ignoring science and technology is no longer palatable. Technological progress, particularly in medicine, is urgently needed to overcome the numerous crises of our time. And you certainly did not hear that message in the recent debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. You know, we all know that America deserves better and that we need better representatives of what American politics stand for. And Charlie Cam and Liz Parrish are dedicated life extension advocates. So by voting for them, by writing them in, you enable them to reach new audiences and show people that radical life extension is feasible and desirable. And you also, by voting for them, help us build public awareness for policy discussions that the U.S. Transhumanist Party holds routinely already regarding emerging technologies and how to accelerate innovation and progress. And these are not just mere conversations. We've had a legislative success already in Nevada in 2019, where we defeated a proposal that would have prohibited the voluntary implantation of microchips, either for medical purposes or for self-expression or for augmenting human capabilities. So we removed that threat and preserved the individual freedom to engage in those kinds of augmentations. And also by supporting the Camp Parish 2020 ticket, by bringing attention to it, you will help grow the membership of the Transhumanist Party. You will help bring more activists to us. You will help us engage in more outreach and social change. Ultimately, we seek to build an immortal culture that embraces continuous progress and improvement and removal of barriers to these aspirations. And unfortunately, there are many regulatory barriers, political barriers, cultural barriers that still exist. The US Transhumanist Party will continue to work to overcome those barriers. And also I would encourage you to check out our weekly virtual enlightenment salons. This has been a bright spot in our activity during this pandemic. The pandemic has been tremendously hard on many people. It has disrupted many physical events, but it has actually accelerated our pace of virtual meetings. Now we stream these virtual enlightenment salons weekly every Sunday, typically at 1 p.m. Pacific time, though uh, this Radfest, it's going to be different, of course, so as not to overlap. They are free to view on my YouTube channel. The link is provided here. You could watch video recordings of all of the past virtual enlightenment salons. And we've had such luminaries as the one and only Jim Stroll and Dr. Jose Cordero, uh, whom longtime Radfest attendees are quite familiar with. These salons are intended to bring leading thinkers in areas such as longevity, transhumanism, artificial intelligence, politics, culture, philosophy, art, and help them make connections among disciplines to facilitate breakthroughs in understanding and ultimately create a more rational, advanced, and informed society because that is the kind of society that will be more likely to embrace radical life extension. Now, for those of you who are wondering, what can you do to help this cause? And if you have money to donate, well, the US Transhumanist Party is a non-monetary organization at this time. So we would not be able to take your donation, but one way in which you can help monetarily is by supporting Project Tipping Point, which is the fundraising initiative of the Coalition for Radical Life Extension. To donate to Project Tipping Point, please go to rlecoalition.com, and this will help build up the infrastructure for future RADFests. It will help expand the RADFest model 
both on a global scale and on local levels, facilitating meetups. And RadFest, for me, has provided great value. It has been a venue for building bridges, for becoming aware of the work of many of our allies in the movement of scientists, of advocates. So let us keep this venue going. Let us support Project Tipping Point and create more possibilities for advocacy like we have seen at all of the rad fests thus far. And finally, I would encourage you, no matter where you reside, to join the U.S. Transhumanist Party for free. Go to our website at transhumanist-party.org slash membership. It takes less than a minute to join. Even if you are not eligible to vote in the United States, you can still help us in our internal deliberations, in our conversations, in bringing ideas to our attention. We welcome input from longevity advocates anywhere in the world. Let us work together for a brighter future. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you, Janati, for that great update.